Still super simple. Odin, oh my god, dude. Ain't no way, dude. Yo, Odin looks so cool. Oh my god. Look at his blue sword, dude. Wow. And Bahamut, oh my god. Y'all think it's easy to beat God Ifrit? Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Yeah, right in the floor. Pwn, dude. You saw that? I faked her out, just beat her in the floor. I'm not even doing anything. Uh, oh my god. The entire sun. That's crazy. He just used. Oh, he's actually using Hellfire. That wasn't even Hellfire yet. Oh my god, dude. Pwned. Burn. Oh my god, 190. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I'm gonna keep playing FF16. Um, Ark the Lad would be pretty fun to play as well, because I gotta go back to the demon area. But, yeah, let's continue where I left off in FF16, since they just released the game on Steam. So, that's pretty exciting. I still have to get to the Bahama area, which is the overall goal. I think this is... Stream 7. I got my haircut, my workout in, um, which is pretty fun. So let's continue where we left off. Last stream we learned that we could switch the icons with L2 and we could use circle in order to... Now I could grab people and pull them towards me, which is pretty cool. So I fought the, the blonde lady on top of the castle over here and it was a pretty good fight. Um, but I won. We got some cool foresty trees over here. I gotta move a little bit slower so I could appreciate the, the scenery. It's a very pretty game. Um, the controls are super simple and I could always ask my dog where I need to go, which is pretty cool. So let's press L2 and I'm gonna try a, a, a lock on. And I'm going to pull the dude towards me with circle. See? How do we lock on? R1? <laughs> it's so simple. I, I could have just looked. Alright, so I'm fighting some knights in the forest in FF16. And if I press L2, my new ability, obviously, I could pull dudes towards me. And hit them a bit. All right, let me uh, review my YouTube real quick, just to see what the controls are again. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Is it me? Am I just dumb? I don't know how to lock on. Like, this is the, the 16th game in the series, right? Or, or wrong? Okay, so per my first video, the controls are triangle to shoot spells, square to melee, L1 to lock on, R1 plus square, um, to R1 to evade, and then square to counter, circle to close the gap, items at the d-pad, hold the center button for active time lore, R2 plus square is phoenix attack. Okay, so it's L1 to lock on. Alright, so... Yeah, I mean, let's uh, get a look at the scenery. All right, so, all right, so now with our new icon ability, like I showed you, you could pull dudes towards you by pressing circle when you have uh, the green lady equipped at the top left. So again, the controls are L1 to lock on, square to melee, and essentially, um, you press R1 to evade and triangle to shoot a magic spell. I could use items at the d-pad and I could also ask my dog um, if I press left on the d-pad I could ask him where I need to go um, by pressing I guess left no left on the d-pad hmm. 
Yeah, I have no idea how to ask him where to go. It's pretty obvious where to go, though. So. Alright, here we go. Alright, so. L1 to lock on. I got some dragons and some knights to fight. It's pretty exciting. So far, this game has been very straightforward. I saw um, the end of FF7 Rebirth, or what I uh, think is the end of it, with uh, the Genova fight and the Sephiroth fight with the, the sun and stuff. That looks super pretty. This guy has a ton of health. So I was reading on um, the forums that essentially potions are super important. Uh, let's press up on the D-pad, I could sick him. So I'm gonna press L2 and I'm gonna use R2 and square to use my Phoenix attack. Get extra damage in. Let's press L2 and R2 and Y to use the wicked wheel. So I could switch between the icon abilities and do additional damage. So L2, charging these up still. Apparently if you pre-ordered this game, you had like way stronger swords or something. It's pretty exciting. All right, so R2 and Y, staggered it again. R2 and square. Yeah, the, the icon abilities do a ton of damage. And you could switch between the icons. So you get even more attacks in. Even more damage. Good to know, good to know. Cool. So let's keep uh, progressing through the game. It feels like it's starting to open up. Like we just got out of a castle area, so let's get a see some more scenery. Some more cinematics, learn about more of the characters. Are you trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. Don't do things by half, steer. Cool. So that's the, the castle that we just left in the cinematic. It looks like the game's starting to open up. And I was doing some extra damage with the icon abilities, like I showed you. So I read on the forums that um, buying potions could be useful in this game. So far, it's been very straightforward. I'm taking this game at pace. Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harpy, as a guess. I'm pretty stoked to see Bahamut. I don't even know what else to expect. Um, I was watching pro streamers on Twitch play the game, um, but it did come out, I think, when it was pretty cold out, if I'm not mistaken. Or actually, no, it came out when it was pretty hot out. Um, God of War came out when it was super cold, as well as Destiny 2 Lightfall. I was doing a bunch of cardio and I had just set up my RuneScape 3 character, so I was pretty busy. Because that, that was pretty exciting to find out about. Like, I just found Sentistin in RuneScape 3. I didn't even know the game existed. You know? Because I, I played a bunch of catch-up in a lot of my series. I didn't even get to play uh, like Skyrim VR. I had all the all the VR games. I was getting super excited to to play them in an open space. At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh my gosh. This guy just got axed in the head. Carol. Oh. 
This is definitely like a more mature themed Final Fantasy. A lot of ruthless barbarians and invaders everywhere. We'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't praise our work. Stay away. <laughs> oh, nice. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Yes, please. Thank you. It's all right. All right. Come on. Let's go home. Wow. So it looks like Cloud is Cloud's really going through it. Is this it, Sidolphus? Is this Sidolphus? Wow. My punishment for not listening to you. This wretched world. Oh my gosh. Yo, look how windy it is. So with the Elgato HD 60s, I can rewind at any time to take screen caps, which is kind of cool. I prefer the HD 60s because you don't need to install it inside of your PC. You don't have to open up the tower and like place the the 4K one in there. I I don't have 4K monitors anyway, but the game looks really good, and I'm playing on just the original PS5, not the PS5 Pro. So it looks like Garuda just summoned a huge tornado. That's kind of cool. So uh, Garuda just summoned a huge tornado. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Oh, that's Benedicta. Okay, I, I thought she was Garuda. It's been a while. Cool. So yeah, I'm playing this completely unassisted. Looks like we have a few harpies on the way there. So, after I defeat this person, it looks like it's taken quite a while. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go grab my pizza. I'll be right back. Let me pause real quick. 
pretty excited. I'm gonna fight each of the harpies on the way. I'm the kind of guy that I like to to fight every enemy. You never know what you're gonna learn. All right, so L1 to lock on, R2 and square. Do a special attack, R2 and triangle. Another special attack, L2 and then R2 and Y for wicked wheel. You could close the gap between you and the other person. Or you could pull them towards you. I'll try to pull this person to towards me next time. I think it's R2 and circle the Phoenix shift and get closer to them. I'll have to use my upgrade wheel, I guess. There we go. Staggered him. Yeah. You could definitely do way more damage if you stagger them than use the other icon ability. So let's press start and let's see what kind of uh, leveling up I could do. So let's head over to abilities. There has to be like more damage or something. We have Heat Wave here, Scarlet Cyclone. Can you upgrade it? So with 475, I have 1696. So I could upgrade each of my abilities here. Um, I could taunt, I could stomp people, charge magic, hold triangle to release the potency of a magic spell, release the cast. Okay, so I can do stronger magic. I could, yeah. Executing a dodge with R1 at the moment of an enemy attack increases evasion, but also allows for counterattacks. Yeah, I could upgrade my counterattacks. So I'm going to upgrade my counterattacks. One, I'm going to upgrade my... Scarlet Cyclone with the, that, and upgrade my Rising Flames. All right, so I upgraded this. I upgrade my, so I upgrade my Phoenix. I upgrade my Phoenix over here, and then I upgraded uh, Counter Attack. So I can press R one to dodge, and then I can press Square to Counter Attack. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's continue fighting. I'm going to actually try to pick up some of the potions, like, as I play the game. Alright, so R2 and square. That does a bunch of damage. Right. Let's see if I could drag this harpy near me. Let's press circle, deadly embrace. So I can't drag her towards me, because I guess she's a big lady. Um, let's press L2. Use a few of my special attacks. Nice. I'm gonna press up on the blue pad to stick with my dog. Nice. Got another bit of EXP. Is there an item anywhere? Yeah, we have an item over here. Alright, so I'm heading towards a tornado. Um, upgraded uh, three of my abilities. Let's press R1 to see if we can dodge and then try to counter. These enemies are still really straightforward. And I definitely do way more damage with the upgraded icon abilities. I hate when they miss. Like, so annoying. Alright, let's press up, left on the d-pad and up for a potion. That like barely healed me.
Oh, I just wasted another potion. No, I didn't. I'm good. Phew. Yo. Love listening to these cars. Just like slowly pull away. It's like. Alright. Let's head towards this uh, tornado. I mean, that would be my only complaint about just how long it takes to defeat the enemies. They are pretty easy though, so. Alright, so. Looks like I'm closing in on the tornado with Benedicta. Thankfully, I upgraded my abilities. I should probably save my game before I fight her. I still can't believe how strong Seymour was. Alright, so I have to enter the vortex on the map. The Eye of the Tempest is my next... So the Eye of the Tempest is my next area. Born of the darkness, buried deep within a broken Lady Benedicta, the Eye of the Tempest is an uncontrollable vortex of immense proportion, fed solely by Garuda's raw fury. Alright, so before I go in there, I'm going to head back to the hideaway. I'm going to maybe buy a new sword or some more potions. Because, like, why would I, why would I risk losing? All right, let's talk with Charon. All right, let's browse our toll. All right, so they have a bastard sword now for a little bit more damage, and it's 1,000 gil. So let's buy the bastard sword before we fight uh, Benedicta in the Vortex. Let's see uh, what type of armor they have. They have a better belt. They have uh, better bracelets. Find a better price than that. And then I could buy some potions. Me blind, you know. Cool. Let's go to sell. And I'm going to sell off my broadsword. You got and that, that should be good. Alright, let's go. Let's save up and get ready to fight Benedicta. Yeah. What a fun time to play this game. Oh. Yeah, there goes my my camera again. All right, so let's head into the Eye of the Tempest, upgraded to a bastard sword, and I guess maybe there's a boss fight here. Some my uh, energy drink. My mom likes to play with uh, like the house heat and stuff. Like she'll turn it on at like weird times in the day when there's a ton of pressure or something like that. She's the type of person that'll, she'll boil like chicken on the stove for like four hours. Cause uh, she feeds boiled chicken to the dog. So yeah, there's an immense amount of uh, pressure, especially at this time of the day. I don't know where all these people in the, the parking lot come from. Like, I, I really don't. They're just, like, sitting there, just, like, sucking air with their, with their car. <clears throat> Alright. Awakening. Cool. What a cool map. Where did he go? I'm just gonna walk slowly through it. You, <laughs> whoa, dude. 
You saw that? That was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I hear, like, water churning. It's like, what is this, dude? It's like I'm in, I'm in the actual game right now. This is why you don't tell people where you live. <clears throat> it's very harassing. In general, just disregard everybody. Don't even tell them what you're doing. Because they're dirty little copycat cheaters. Who steal all your shit. You called me. Yo, can my camera Why? fucking not freeze, bro? Is that too much to ask? I'm sitting here, it's like, am I playing the game? fighting Garuda in like a quick time event. I like quick time events. What a nice design. I can't believe someone just wrapped a, a motorcycle outside my house right as it started. These people scare me, dude. Whoa, dude. Yo, Garuda looks mad cool in this part of the game. So I'm like six hours in. This game's relatively straightforward. So I press L1 to lock on again. Uh, triangle to shoot magic. R1 to evade and then square to counter attack. So thankfully I upgraded my sword to the bastard sword right before I went to the vortex. So I got two icons now. So R2 and triangle does uh, special attack with this icon and then uh, I can switch icons with L2 and I could do R2 and triangle and square uh, I could use potions with uh, the d-pad so this fight's going pretty well all right larger enemies will become staggered when their roll gauges are reduced to 50 percent using Garuda's deadly embrace on a partially staggered enemy, we'll topple it. Deadly embrace. Okay. Yeah, so I managed to, I think, stagger her. Let's go for another Phoenix hit. Such a cool boss though. Like I'm so impatient. Right, so I staggered her. Let me press L2 and then circle for Deadly Embrace. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Alright, so let's just use my Icon abilities while she's staggered so I can do a ton of damage. Cool.
Alright, so yeah, this boss is like super easy. Some cool effects. I upgrade my stuff like I, I show like after this real quick. Like my sword, my armor, and uh, my abilities. I upgraded like the Phoenix Strike. Cool. Press R1 to dodge. Oh, nice. So I, I just used the, the deadly embrace there. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I did. So I managed to throw her on the floor with deadly embrace with uh, the Garuda, the green icon with circle. So I grabbed her somehow. It had something to do with the yellow bar being um, at 50%. So I did it, which is definitely significant. Nice. So I managed to stagger again. Let's hit her with the Phoenix Strike. Deadly Embrace again. Uh, that didn't work. Alright, let's try to pull over with Deadly Embrace again. Yeah, when it's at 50%, you can press circle when you have the green icon, and you can pull her. Knock her down. Hit her with the special attack. Her off with a, a QT. Super cool. I just chopped off her claw. Pwn, dude. Garuda slain. Yeah, that was pretty easy. What a nice design. I wish we could have started with that a little bit earlier. I mean, we did have, like, the Phoenix and... Ah, uh, the effort fight, but... Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like how they made, like, a wind tunnel in my house, artificially, for whatever reason. And my camera keeps freezing. That feels super awkward. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll definitely use that as a screenshot, I think, at 35 minutes. cinematic whoa dude
Nice. So Clive, he just uh, transformed into Ifrit. It's a really nice cutscene right there. Cool, so I get to fight uh, Garuda as Ifrit. That's pretty cool. Alright, so square melee, triangle ranged, and R1 is evade. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna have some energy drink. Circle could be used to charge an enemy. Okay. So circle charges, square melee, triangle ranged. Okay. So let's hit her with some fire with triangle and charge her with circle. Bumped. We beat her up. Oh my god. Rip her head off, dude. Ah. Throw a fire pull at her, dude. Ooh, dude. Yeah, this is way cooler than the Phoenix fight, dude. I don't want to see no Phoenix fight, but dude. I, I feel like the Phoenix fight is like... This is way cooler. Yo, look at the meteor, dude. I'm too lazy for this. Yeah, get that rock out of here. Pwned. Yo, I'm a demon. Get out of here. I wanna evade. Come on, dude. Knock her out. Pwned. Yeah. Pwned, dude. Rip her wing off. I'm a god. Yeah, get that. Get the float out of here. Float in Final Fantasy VIII for Ifrit is trash. This is a new Ifrit, dude. Mad cool. Y'all remember using Ifrit versus Dine? This is like significantly cooler. Yo, what is she doing? Yo, this YouTube algo. You guys are so dumb. This game just came out on Steam. I swear, dude. Y'all think it's easy to beat God Ifrit? Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Yeah, right in the floor. Pwn, dude. You saw that? I faked her out, just beat her in the floor. I'm not even doing anything. Oh my god, dude. She knocked my arm off. That's crazy. son that's crazy you just use hellfire on her pwn dude oh my god yeah that son looks sick 
Oh my god, dude. He's beating her on the ground. Pwned. Get out of my Final Fantasy world. Yo, look at this. I, I beat her up like 20 times. Yeah, I'm gonna choke her out too. Ah! <laughs> That was, this is mad funny, dude. I've, I've regrew my arm. I don't even care, bro. I'm crazy. 3,000, 4,000. Oh my god. Oh, he's actually using Hellfire. That wasn't even Hellfire yet. Oh my god, dude. Pwned. Burn. Oh my god, 197,000? Oh my god, dude. Garuda slain. Nice. Hell yeah. Bitches call me Tesla. Yo, Clive is crazy. Yeah, get out of here, Sid. I'm a god. Yo, is he gonna turn purple again? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. What is Sid Brahma? Yo, I just got grabbed by another car. This is crazy. Yo, look at different, dude. Oh my god. Yo, Sid is Ifrit. That's crazy. I, said stop. I mean, he's Rama, whatever. Yo, yeah, what do you <laughs> What are you guys even playing, my guys? Like can you skip World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy any harder? These guys are jokes, dude. Jokes. It's like not hard, my guy. This is your problem. Look at this. They send their cars to, to mess with me. That's ridiculous. They're too lazy to log in that they send their cars to suck air. They're like blowing out my eardrums here. Literally. I feel like I'm standing in a closed stadium and there's a tornado outside of the closed entire stadium. The ghost you've been chasing. Nice. It was inside you all along. Look at that. He just knocked me out as Rama. Because I was going too ham on Garuda. Like I'm literally at, I'm at the bottom of like a 20 foot deep pool right now, literally air pressure wise. This is insane. But now I'm, now I'm accustomed to it. Why? 
Why did you have to listen to You guys are jokes, dude. Oh my god, bro. Benedicta. Why why is he so evil? Oh my god. That's exactly what I wanted, dude. That was dope. Check out all the knights fight. What a cool cinematic. So, you just saw like Hellfire with Ifrit, and I mean this part of the game, it's still super simple. Odin, oh my god, dude. Look how sick that looks. I think you get to fight Odin twice, I'm pretty sure, in this game. He has a huge blue sword. Wow, Odin. Odin looks so cool. Oh my god. Look at his blue sword, dude. Wow. And Bahamut? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, PlayStation, so cool. I mean, honestly though, PC, way better than PlayStation. This game's on Steam, like, already. I gotta say though, like, I mean, this cinematic looks really good on just the normal PS5, but like, I mean, Destiny 2, they have some nice looking levels. Horizon Forbidden West looks nice too. This looks, I mean, this cinematic looks like way nicer than Horizon Forbidden West, at least with the heights. Like at the end of Horizon Forbidden West with like the fighting. Um, Yeah, I mean, this is super fun. Way better than FF15. Like, significantly better. Like, I fought the Titan in FF15. I got, like, relatively far. This is much easier paced. I mean, the Underwater Dragon in FF15 was cool. But I didn't beat it. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread. Even in the Holy Capital. The Capital. What of my father is he? Wow. He, he said he's a, he's like he the capital the capital. We can expect no reinforcements. Yo, you can't even do the the expressions correctly. Yeah, there's way less pressure in my room now. That was only eight hours into the game, dude. Jesus Christ. Eight hours into the game. Like, are you guys kidding me, dude? I'm, I'm showing the Odin thumbnail right now. I'm choosing Odin as the thumbnail. Like, and, like, the Ifrit thing just happened. Like, nobody wants to be looking at fire. I want to see a knight, a blue knight on a horse. Like fire, ugh. I want to see clean graphics. Ah, you're awake. 
You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Lewis. That's mad funny, though. Hey. I love watching decades-long streamers. They're sitting there with like three, three watchers on YouTube. <laughs> it's like a yeah, sick algo, dude. They have like thousands of subscribers. It's like might as well invest in my channel. I advertise on YouTube at the same time, so I get even more followers. Like first, outer, inner, last. Am I right? It's like, bro, you guys skipped Easter and RuneScape. You skipped the holidays, my dude. And you skipped World of Warcraft. Like, how are you guys going to skip World of Warcraft? And then tell me that the PS5 is the best. Like, yeah, I, I ordered Skate 3 on Xbox 360. And, uh... That game looks super good. It has like a flying trick. You could actually uh, put a pallet under you and then you enter the cheat code and then you like pick up your board or whatever. And uh, you could essentially like fly on the pallet. So you could get like anywhere in the game and do like super cool tricks. I never played skate. I like, I think I maybe played skate one and it was so complicated for me. Because I'm someone who plays games um, without guides, like, ever. So, like, watching videos was inaccessible to me when I played games in high school. I was just super good at Halo, what Gears, COD. Do do now? Like, I had played FF10, so... It's like, how, mu how much story games do I actually need? Like, I played Gears of War story mode co-op. So I never learned how to... Like, YouTube videos didn't really exist. There are certain times during the game that side quests become temporarily unavailable. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a... Okay, quest lock. Cool. Well Alright, so let's press start and go save. I mean, I definitely want that save point. Definitely saved. I got a new game. So at level 16, 1406, you gotta watch the Odin cutscene. Michelle. Alright, let, let me take my screen cap. Right? I'd say Odin is definitely the, the coolest screen cap, right? Alright, 11143. Wow. I mean, that one's cool, but they have a closer one. All right, so I took a screen cap. Let's press the play button and press space the next time I need to freeze it. Because I'm using the Elgato HD 60S hardware to connect my PS5 for my video. And then I have the free 4K capture utility software from Elgato. So, I'm using that just to take screen caps, because you can drag this dot over to the left, and then you can press space bar to freeze, and then after you take your screen cap, you can resume with the play button. So, essentially I'm playing the PS5 on my PC with this. So, here's Odin. It's pretty fun to just review the, the artwork in the game. I feel like that's probably the coolest. Here we go. Wow. I know there's another good screen cap. I mean, that looks cool, but... That looks cool, but... That looks cool, but they move so fast.
That looks super nice there. The Bahamut. So was that the screen cap just right there? 